Hey there, Aquarius. What's going on? How are you? Welcome to the House of Luminance. My name is Antoine, and uh, this is going to be your love and romance energy for the middle 10 days of September. So if you're new, welcome to the channel. And if you're back, then welcome back. All right. Um, we're going to kick things off as usual using the Golden Soulmate Oracle. This is in combination with the Golden Twin Flame Oracle. And then we'll clarify later using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. All right. So I'm not going to hold you any longer, Aquarius, but I do appreciate y'all for your time. Thank you so, so much. Let's go ahead and get into the energies. Energies for Aquarius for the middle 10 days in love and romance. Middle 10 days of September 2022, love and romance. Aquarius, what's going on for you? Let's get this last shuffle. Aquarius. Ooh, romance. All right. All right. So under the deck, attraction. Oh, well, this is cute. Okay. This is cute, Aquarius. All right. Something light. I like this. <laughs> so far. So far, because you know how it is when we get excited. All right. So uh, romance and then attraction. You know, I have this feeling here, in, uh, this energy here that I'm feeling, Aquarius, and it's like, you know, you're making a connection. I definitely feel like there's one particular person that you're drawn to, that you're very attracted to. It's a mutual attraction. I feel like you're opening up to this person slowly. This person is like wooing you. Okay. Um, I'm hearing expectations being set. This person sets expectations and then they follow through. And then it's like th that is very attractive to you. And you begin to slowly open up now and bloom blossom right there's a, a a budding blossoming romance between the two of you all right it's very very it's very uh it's very pronounced it's it's very it's very good i just see it as a very good thing aquarius i'm not even gonna try to over explain it all right definitely i feel like many of you are making this type of connection or at least have this type of energy coming forward to you during this time okay whether there is someone that wants to be romantic with you, someone that is attracted to you, someone that does want to wine, dine, and woo, and pursue you, even if it's not happening yet. There's somebody there that wants to, okay? So just take that however it resonates, whether you're single and this is someone coming to you, or you're already involved with someone, or kind of, you know, seeing someone, and then things are, you know, spreading uh, to be a little bit more serious. I like it. All right, let's get this last shuffle and then we'll go ahead and continue the interview. All right, the Empress. Knight of Swords. Hmm. Nine of Wands. Three of Pentacle, Three of Cups. Wow, interesting. So Aquarius, let me tell you about this person. This person really likes you. This person really is into you. And it's no secret how much they really like you. I feel like there's always a good time whenever you're around this person. You feel very much excited to be with them. You feel very much connected to them. This could be someone that maybe was a friend first and then it developed into a deeper connection. Or maybe this is like that, you know, you guys kind of maybe run around some of the same circles. Either way, um, it does feel like this is a good time when you're with this person. It does feel like uh, there is a potential for expansiveness. There's a, a potential for love. There's a potential for family. There's a, you know, kind of future looking at it. You know what I mean? Um, even though this is at the base of your energy, Aquarius, like this person to you kind of triggers all of, kind of triggers your biological clock in a way. And this could deal with childbirth, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Men, we have biological clocks as well. And so there's just little moments in our own chemistry where we feel like, you know, okay, by this time we should be da 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 da, -da. And this person gives you that, right? This person makes you want to be better and grow and expand. And again, they're not 
giving you they're not they're not leaving it up to chance like they're not they're not mincing their words they're very direct about how it is that they feel about your Aquarius which is good for you because that's what you need you don't you, Aquarius don't always don't always take hints <laughs> very well now I do feel like I do see this nine of wands up here this nine of wands up here does let me know that Aquarius you do come with some experience you do possibly come with a little bit of trust issues. And maybe at first, when you're encountering this person, there is a little bit of that. You know, I do feel like you're allowing yourself to have these romantic experiences with this person during this time. You're allowing the attraction to take course um, between you two. You're allowing all of this fun energy to happen between you, right? But I do feel like there's an energy of, okay, you, you just, you're, you're, you're like any moment now, the the bullshit <laughs> you know um and that's and it's a it's a fear um but not really more so of a fear it's just more so of like a it's just something that you keep in your thoughts it's like a trust thing it's a barrier uh a a barrier that you put up to self for self protection and then also a barrier that you know you're going to have to knock down and eventually chisel away at like this guy is. Okay. Um, so that you can have cooperation here with this budding situation. Uh, look, look at, I see three, three, three. Okay. So that's definitely a good sign for, for any of you who have been seeing angel number three, three, three out here lately. I do feel like this is a really, really interesting, um, interesting connection. And the thing is, is that this person, whoever this is that you're connecting with to, uh, whether this is happening in the future or currently, um, you know, they're really cooperative and they're willing, okay, to be with you as you can, you know, go through your processes of growth and trust. You know what I'm saying? Like they want you to trust them. They are trustworthy, what I feel, for sure, okay? Aquarius, maybe you just don't know that yet, but maybe you feel that that they are trustworthy and then you're just like, you know, just a little unsure. Okay. It's just, you, you're cautious, which is understandable. Especially, like I said, with that nine of wands up there, I know you've been through some things. But ultimately, you guys want the same thing, which is growth and expansion. Um, love. Okay. Happiness, everything that the number three gives, everything that the Empress is, you know, you want that within one another. All right, let's get one more. Yeah. And then we'll continue. Four of Swords, Death, Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Wow, <laughs> Aquarius. Oh, and look, the three, the three, the other three of Swords, right? Uh, the three of Wands wanted to fall out. Um, interesting, Aquarius. I feel like the approach that many of you will initially take here is this energy of the four of swords. Because you're a little uneasy here with the nine of wands, it's like, okay, I'm going to, I'm not going to take any action. I'm just going to see how it comes to me. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, I'm going to see how it comes to me. I'm going to, I'm going to take my time. I'm going to, you know, not... Not not try to be into it, right? Because you are into it. But it's like it's almost like you want to see if how this person is really into it. But they, you know, the thing is, is that in a way that can kind of be a turn off to this person here with the death energy because it feels like they've already shown you how 
much they're really, really interested in you. Okay? And it's almost it's like, dang, Aquarius, don't you see how much I really, what I really do feel about you? You know what I'm saying? Um, what is it going to, it's like they're saying to, it's like they're saying to you, like, what is it going to take for you, Aquarius, to see that, you know, that I'm happy with you and I want you to be happy with me? You know what I mean? Um, the Nine of Cups talking about dreams come true. Also talking about being emotionally secure. Even within your own self, but just in general. You know what I'm saying? Just like the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands has been through certain experiences. But also the Nine of Cups knows that those experiences that they've been through have gotten them to this level right now where, they're, where they can be, you know, emotionally secure. And so it feels like you're a person, Aquarius, is saying, listen, I've been through some stuff too, all right? You're not the only one taking a risk. You're not the only one opening up, breaking down barriers. You're not the only one, you know, giving, you know, donating resources and time, you know? This is a good man, Savannah. Mm -hmm. I like this reading a lot. Like I said, initially you are going to approach the situation like, you know, I'm going to see how they act. I'm going to see, you know what I'm saying? But what it does is it, it, with the death card, if in a way, there is an energy of like that does kind of maybe turn somebody off to a degree. Only because that person feels like they've already been expressing to, to you how they feel about you. You understand? But never mind that. It does get worked out and there is happiness to be had. And there's still a connection that's being built up. You know, even if it doesn't like automatically be, oh, we're official. There's still a connection that you feel deemed worthy of building up and that you still want to continue. So I really love this energy right here, Aquarius. This is a beautiful message. Let me know what's going on in the comment box below, y'all. All right. Thank you so much again for your time. It's truly appreciated and valued. Um, please hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, check me out in the next message. Okay. So take care and uh, see you later. Bye.